So forest pansies are start off an amazing purple when they first get their leaves in spring. Then they start greening through the summer and they get more and more green, lose the purpley color, and then they have great winter color or fall color. This uh, is a great redbud tree. It has, comes out bright yellow, ends up with a light green leaf, beautiful pink flowers, Oh wow! Uh, this is also the the yellower cirrus that does well in full sun. Hearts of Gold is great, but it doesn't like full sun in the summertime. And so, uh, when will this bloom? Spring. Okay, so this is the Evans Bali cherry tree, and it already has a ton of fruit on it. Tell us about this cherry. This one uh, doesn't need a pollinator. It. Most people use it as a pie cherry, but this is one that if you just leave the fruit on, that it becomes sweeter and sweeter. Last year, I was eating them around the 4th of July, picking them off the tree. They oh, were wow. awesome. So this is Styrex Evening Light. Ooh, I love this one. Oh my gosh, it's fragrant. Yep. Wow. And we've got a whole lot of 15s. We don't have many 7s. You have customers that might like these 7s. These are gorgeous. What, how tall and wide do they get? Um, so it's a tree that eventually gets about 15 feet wide and about 20 to 25 feet tall. And just a different variety here in the pink? Yes. Tulpa bungee eye. Tulpa bungee eye. So they are, they are actually top grafted. They just become this big, dense round ball. They don't um, set seeds like other catalpa, so they're not messy. Oh, I they love them. very well in like a small yard. Oh, yeah. How tall uh, and wide? Probably so, about so ten. Kind of new. Yeah. So they would probably be fifteen by fifteen. Nice Big red bud trees. Red buds, pink heartbreaker red buds. These are a semi weeping variety. They uh, have a a light pink flower versus um, forest pansy, which has a darker pink. Or none of the red buds really have red flowers. But, mm -hmm. um, when do they but, bloom? Uh, and they bloom early in the year, again, before they have any leaves, and they bloom on on this season's wood. Okay. So the new branching that you see coming out is where you're going to have the most flowers next year. So we're getting this gorgeous coral bark maple. Paper bark, Paper bark maple. Paper bark coral maple. bark in a minute. So um, they're real nice. They don't get very big. 25 by 20. They have exfoliating bark, so there's interest there all year plus they have great fall color and then also we're getting this gorgeous red forest pansy this is a pawpaw um pawpaw trees actually do very very well in oregon um this one is a shenandoah they are very ornamental even if you don't want them for the fruit these leaves will end up getting about six to eight inches long just hang pendulously on the tree. Gorgeous. Yeah, super awesome. Very nice ornamental. Look at the fruit that's on them. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Four-way Asian pears. Oh. This is the same tree as we have at the store that I kept for myself that everybody is sad about. So I'm gonna pick up some more for you guys. So these are Starlight um, Cornus. They're a hybrid. They come out of the uh, Rutgers University breeding program. Not Very birds. disease resistant. They bloom after they get their leaves and the flowers are huge. Wow. And they will get bigger than this actually as they, as the tree matures, they'll have bigger flowers. Um, the flowers, just as they're going away, start to get a pink tint and then they go brown. So this tree is an ivory silk tree has a fragrant bloom, smells similar to like a honeysuckle. And- It is a lilac. It is a it's a lilac, lilac, yes. Upright spreading tree, creamy white uh, blooms, and it gets 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide, uh, which is pretty much perfect for small yards in our area. So I am gonna take this beauty home with us. These are the Styrex we decided to go with. They are a little bit larger and more well-established. And my first pick out here was this guy. Now, he doesn't have as many blooms as uh, some of the others, but I picked him more for his form and shape 
and size and he'll get stronger blooms the older he gets. But he has been putting a lot of energy probably into just his structure. So, and he also still has some blooms that are ready to open up. So that was my number one pick. And my number two pick was another little pretty one down here that also has good shape um, and has tons of blooms still coming. So there's a fine line when we come out here to shop for trees between picking something that is in bloom enough to show you how it's gonna look like in your yard as uh, combined with one that's um, not fully bloomed out yet so that you can still enjoy it when you get it home. That's the Esk that's Sunset, Sunset Maple and I love it. And we had two of them and they sold so fast earlier, but that one is prettier than any of the ones we had before and I want to get a few of these yeah this one's good I like him so these are the Ruby Falls red buds and they are small they're only about six feet tall eight feet wide and they are a little small weeping like a, a purple red foliage and do these flower Yes, beautiful. Please watch your step. They are, have beautiful dark pink flowers. Gorgeous. And but In this is a this is a specimen tree. This is something that you would use as a focal, focal point. point yeah. Whoop. What? <laughs> what the what is this? <laughs> oh my head! Oh, it's a twisty baby. I want one of these. They have white flowers in the spring. White flowers in the spring? Uh -huh. uh -oh. Where have these been all my life? <laughs> I get to buy them, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they look like a perm. Oh my heck. Oh, this one's pretty. I want one like this, but with three stems. Oh, I want the little chubby guy. You don't have to buy them with the chubby guy. No, I like him. That's what I was saying is I want one with three, a three stem. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, here's a pruning lesson. See how this branch comes up and he's crossing over to way over here? This needs to come off. So when you're pruning your trees, that's the kind of stuff you're gonna look for. You want these to all come up and out uh, from the center. You don't want them crossing over because this, not only does it just make it sort of a lopsided uh, look, but it also, if you've got a bunch crossing over back and forth, it also, uh, lessens the airflow that you get and it makes your tree more susceptible to fungus and disease if they're not getting good air circulation. Little pretty trees. This one's kind of cool. We've already tagged it. Oh. <laughs> we have good taste. Right? Okay, Shell, here is your red Japanese maple. We're getting you a good one. He's pretty. They're all pretty. Okay, so now I can have green ones. A green one. That one's pretty. Yeah, I want that one. I love it. <laughs> These gorgeous. Hey, 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 hey. Almost a wreck. Almost lost a leg. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sometimes when he's speeding along, we just have to scream, Stop! Back up! We want some of that! Which one do you want? Do you want the big ones or do you want the little ones? Uh, the big ones. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, they're so wonderful. 